What is going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day. One of the most common questions that I get asked more or less daily is what legend should I unlock next? Because this is such a common question, today we are going to go over just this, my updated legend buying guide for Apex Legends Season 9. This video was well received when we did it back during Season 7, and there has been a lot of adjustments to the legend since then, so it is absolutely time for a refresh of this video. This video usually is for newer players that are looking for some recommendations, but have no fear, if you're a returning player, this will also help you out. Before we get started, I also want to recommend two major resources for you that may help you in deciding what legend to unlock. The first resource is my All Legends Explained video from last season where we briefly go over every legend from launch through season 8 and we discuss all the legends playstyles and abilities. And another resource is our Master Guide series of videos where we have done a how to play every legend in the game. And finally, I would love to chat with yourself about Apex Legends, so hop over to my Twitch streams where we do stream nearly daily and I would love to give you some advice live on stream if you have any questions. Starting off with my least recommended legend at number 11, and this is going to be Rampart. There are a multitude of reasons why Rampart is my least recommended legend, but just so you know, Rampart has a passive ability that gives her a quicker reload and 20% more ammo when using light machine guns, a tactical ability that deploys an amp wall that acts as a cover and boosts damage when you're shooting through them, and an ultimate ability that is a stationary minigun. And this is the keyword, stationary. Rampart's kit for the most part is way more passive and requires Legends to be behind this amped wall to use her main ability with some purpose. She can be quite aggressive, but for newer or a returner player, I highly recommend a more mobile Legend to get you a little bit more adjusted to the meta with movement and how to get better to make pushes, make those big plays. I enjoy Rampart and she's good if you want to play passively, but again, there are a lot better options out there. Number 10 on this list is going to sadly be Revenant, but this is with one huge disclaimer. Revenant is so low on my list, not because he's a bad legend, but because he requires a lot of coordination with teammates. Revenant has a passive ability that allows him to climb higher and crouch walk faster, a tactical ability, a tactical that can silence enemies' abilities, and his extremely powerful ultimate, which is that death totem that allows you to more or less get that free push on an enemy team while you only take health damage. Revenant is absolutely all about the death totem right now. If you are playing with a pre-made team of some friends or just a group of people that you trust, then Revenant can be probably moved all the way up to maybe my fifth or sixth pick. But if you are a solo player and don't want to coordinate the death totem push, then I would definitely look past Revenant. Revenant has a lot of interesting lore and is absolutely a legend that you should try to learn so you can better counter that Revenant death totem team that might push you. My next pick at number 9 is going to be Fuse. Fuse is actually a solid starter legend and a decent first legend to unlock, but he is so low on my list right now because he just really isn't the meta. His overall kit is extremely easy to use, and this will help you focus on gun skill which is great, but in terms of being the best of the best legends out there, Fuse just isn't it. His passive allows him to stack 2 grenades per inventory slot and to shoot grenades further and more accurate. The tactical is a knuckle cluster that shoots an explosive type of mini grenade that will explode after impact and damage things that are around it. And his ultimate is a mortar that shoots a big ring of fire onto the ground to trap enemies and damage your opponents. I do enjoy playing Fuse for his simplicity, but there really isn't much there in terms of his overall team usefulness at the moment. He really is one of, if not the weakest legend in the game, and I would probably look past Fuse unless again you are looking for a much simpler legend to play so you can focus on your gun skills, which of course is good if you are just starting out in the game or if you're just returning. My next pick at number 8 is going to be a legend who I deemed an extremely strong option for ranked players, and this is going to be Watson. Watson has some similarities to Rampart, meaning she is a more stationary or passive legend, but her overall kit has a lot of uses not just for herself, but also for the team. Watson's passive allows her to carry ultimate accelerants in stacks of two, and she has a small passive shield regeneration. Her tactical is her main feature, which allows her to place down fences to block off doors, hallways, buildings, and more. And her ultimate is a pylon that blocks incoming projectiles, recharges shields, and allows her to get her tactical fence charges to recharge quicker. Watson just isn't the meta in pub games right now, which is a shame because I honestly have a great time playing her. She has a lot of possibilities with her kit, which will make it very rewarding if you do learn how to play her. If you are skipping pub games and going straight into ranked though, I would definitely give Watson a hard look at and a try because she can be great for teams playing a little bit more passive and trying to get placement in those ranked games. Next up at number 7, we are going to have one of my past top recommendations and this is going to be Caustic. Caustic is all about gas and trapping his enemies, which was great until he received a hefty gas nerf last season. Caustic's passive allows him to go in and out of gas, both his and enemies without taking damage, and he can see enemies in his gas by having them outlined. His tactical is a gas trap that allows you to block off doors, trap doorways, buildings, and more. 
And finally, his ultimate is a gas grenade that acts similar to the traps, but can be used much more aggressively. Caustic is a fine pick for both pubs and ranked, but Caustic for me right now is very similar to Watson where he excels a bit more in ranked because he can again trap up and hold positions around the map. Unlike Watson though, Caustic has his gas grenade, which can really be a deadly tool when you're trying to push enemies and make a big play. Because of this, he has some viability in pubs. Caustic right now is an overall fine legend that has a lot of players feeling kind of like meh about him since he had his nerf. I don't think there's anything too wrong with Caustic, but there are better options until he gets a buff again. My next two options are for those really looking for a challenge in their games and to learn a legend with a little bit higher skill ceiling. The first is going to be Mirage at number six. Mirage has this kind of deep following that is extremely passionate about him. Mirage is all about deception, which is truly unique from all the other legends in the game. His passive allows him to revive enemies while being invisible and respawn them at beacons while also being invisible. His tactical is a decoy that he deploys and he can actually control to mirror the movements of himself. And finally, his ultimate, which is the real power move, is Life of the Party, which spawns a number of decoy mirages that can be extremely chaotic to those unaware how to detect the real mirage. This ability only has a 60 second recharge, which is absolutely insane. Mirage again will require a much higher bar to entry as you are somewhat relying on how good the enemy is at detecting a fake Mirage, but a skilled Mirage can help minimize this. I think Mirage is a legend that is hilarious and a very rewarding legend to learn. I will say that Mirage just isn't really the meta in higher tier lobbies, but I would definitely give him a look at if you want a good time and you aren't going to take the game too serious. Before we jump into the top 5, I just want to say if you're enjoying this video or if you just want to support me, hit that like button and I really appreciate your support. Similar to Mirage though, and on the other hand, we have at number 5 Crypto which can absolutely be deemed a meta legend and in some game environments is an extreme powerhouse if used right. Again, Crypto has a deep skills healing with a lot of abilities and requires players to be quick when using him as he does have a lot to do. Crypto's passive and tactical abilities are kind of all mixed together. The passive technically allows Crypto's tactical drone to scan enemies. However though, Crypto's tactical ability is that drone that Crypto can remote fly around to scan enemies, instantly ping beacons, pick up teammate death banners, instantly respawn teammates at revive spots, see how many teams are nearby on the large banner signs that are around the map, reload stowed guns while on the drone, and you can even set up the drone in a spot and then go back into your character, then having this drone kind of act like a sentry to distract players or tag them as they walk by. Crypto's ultimate is a powerful EMP that will knock out pretty much every trap in the game from a Watson fence to a caustic gas trap and even Gibraltar's dome shield and it will also deal 50 shield damage to all opponents in range. A crypto that can learn to aggressively EMP will make quick work of squads. As you can probably tell crypto has a lot to him and he can definitely be an extremely powerful legend but again he does require a little bit more experienced player that is willing to take on a challenge. If you are looking for a challenge or a very rewarding experience I would absolutely give crypto a try and you will probably not regret it because a lot of people that pick him up can't put him down. Moving on to number four, we are going to have her Horizon. Horizon was my previous number one pick. Horizon though right now isn't quite what she was before season nine. She is still a strong legend that has a complete package of solid abilities. Her passive allows her to quickly move after falling from height, meaning no slight stun and she can have better air strafing and movement while in the air. Her tactile is a gravity lift that can be used to transport her and her team through the air for both movement playmaking, and escaping. And finally, her ultimate is a black hole that will suck up enemies and leave them trapped briefly inside for some easy damage or confusion. Horizon is an all-around good legend that is a fairly easy to pick up legend, but a little bit harder to excel with. Season 9 saw a huge nerf to the gravity lift, so she is a little bit less offensive and elusive than she used to be, but she is still a great legend, and I would definitely recommend trying her out. Number three is the brand new addition of Valkyrie from season nine. Valkyrie in my books for pubs is a top tier legend that can really keep the game moving and flowing. However, her passive, the jetpack will require a bit more experience to get it down to the point of it being effective and not a liability. Additionally, for passive abilities, she is a recon class member, so she can ping beacons, and she also gets a jet fighter type of HUD that marks targets when she's dropping or redeploying with her ultimate. The tactical is a missile barrage of rockets that stun enemies and do a small amount of damage, and her ultimate is the skyward dive, which allows her and or her team to redeploy. 
The ultimate alone is a great way for teams to keep moving from fight to fight, which I am absolutely digging. The passive VTOL Jets or Jetpack is a great ability for some higher end movement, but it will take more skill to get this ability down. I again find that Valkyrie has a complete package of abilities, which is a rare find, and I also feel as if she isn't really overpowered. She is just plain useful, and she is a lot of fun to play. I would definitely recommend giving her a try as your second or maybe third legend to pick up after you get some better movement techniques down in Apex Legends. Our number two legend is a legend that saw a massive buff and fix for the season, and this is going to be Loba. Loba's passive allows her to see high tier loot through walls and objects. As for the tactical, it is a bracelet that allows her to teleport, and the ultimate is a black market which allows herself and her team to pick up two items remotely through this ability and to get as much ammo as they want. Lopa is highly recommended on my list not only because she's a decent legend with a pretty good tactical ability right now, but she will also bring some team support to the table, which can be an extremely desired thing when you are newer to Apex Legends. Maybe your gun skill isn't that great, but maybe you still want to help out the team, then I would definitely say Loba is definitely for you. The Tactical Teleport is a unique ability, and if it is used properly, can be really great for making big plays, and for simply just escaping and overall transport. This freedom is very liberating, and makes for a very fun experience. Loba, similarly to Valkyrie, and since her bracelet was buffed and or fixed, has a solid set of abilities for her, and a good well-rounded kit. She is also very easy to use and is a solid early pickup for those looking to unlock a new legend that can be aggressive and provide some support. And my number one recommendation for the next or first legend for you to unlock is going to be Octane. Octane during Season 8 was repping a massive 25% pick rate, which is pretty much just absurd and it really does show how effective Octane can be. Octane is one of the most natural and easy to pick up legends in the game right now with an aggressive kit for playmaking and even some team usefulness with the launch pad. Octane's passive is a passive health regeneration over time. His tactical is a stim that gives him a huge increase in speed for a short time for the cost of 20 health. And Octane's ultimate is a jump pad that allows him and the team to fly around the map onto teams or just to rotate quickly. And you get this every 60 seconds, which is pretty great. All of Octane's abilities are simple to use, which I am a huge fan of if you are a newer player or a returning player. And this will definitely allow you to focus more on gun skill and positioning. And on top of this, positioning is going to be easier to achieve since you do have that stim in the launch pad. And because of this, again, I find Octane is beneficial to help teach newer players how to make big plays. If you are coming back to the game, I will say Octane used to be one of the worst legends in the game, if not the worst out there. But he has certainly seen a resurgence where he can compete in all levels of the game, from pub games to ranked and even the top tier competitive scene from the pro player standpoint. You should absolutely pick up Octane as one of your first few legends, so give him a try. So there are my recommendations for which legend to unlock. Which legend are you going to get next? Drop a comment down below. If you need some more advice or if you're looking for some people to play with, feel free to hop into the community discord. We got almost 800 members over there and there's always people chatting in there and you can even chat with myself. I'd love to chat with you about Apex Legends. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, I will see you live in the Twitch streams. Peace out, everyone.